Hello everyone and welcome into more expeditions around the world here on the Source Network. My name is Sorcerer Matt. Um, so I'm thinking just first look, we got a bunch of locations down here in South America. So we're just going to reveal those. Um, we're just going to pick four of those down there and reveal them and that's going to be great. Um, yeah. Um, I found that bunching up the destinations, we also have this purple shared destination here, that's really nice. I found that bunching them up really is just the way to go. Um, um, if you spread them out too much, um, it just, it ends badly for you. <laughs> um, and the nice thing is we actually do have a fair amount of locations, um, this way in in the west as well like you can see we've got um the northwest passage we've got timbuktu niagara falls is also a shared one which is around a blue and red so i i i think that um and we've also got um this one here in rome um so we can just send an expedition this way and that's going to be awesome um okay um I mean, I could be a real jerk face and just completely divert this route this way and go back this way and complete this loop, but that seems a, seems a, a skosh aggressive. Um, so I am going to um, we're just we're just gonna start we're just gonna we're, boring turn, boring turn. Just just gonna grab this, and then we're gonna end the turn. If he wants to grab the extra turn here that's great. I don't think he's going to because he's going to want to go that way. Now he could use a ticket and do it, but I'm thinking he's going to want to continue going this direction. Um, okay. Um, I, yeah, I will happily go here, confirm, and then happily go here and grab this shared. Well, yeah, no, I'll just happily go. Yeah, I'll happily go here. And grab that shared destination. I, I get that it, it sets him up for his turn, but I don't think I really care about that. <laughs> In fact, probably what I really don't care about is because he's going to have to come back around this way, I'm assuming. And so he's going to run into the Great Wall. In which, so I'm assuming he's going to go right to the Great Wall here. Oh, no, he's not. Interesting. He's going to go that way. Maybe he's going up to the Bering Strait. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. He's doing a great job managing his tickets. Um, you know, he still has two tickets. Oh, so he's going over this way now. Interesting. Okay, well, um, then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a ticket strategically. So I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to use a ticket to then go here to gain back said ticket. I close a loop. And so um, now what I can do is I can go, um, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I want to do here. Um, I was really excited about that play and then all of a sudden I wasn't. Um, so I think that we're going to go here and then I'm going to use a, a ticket the second time because that's only one ticket that I'll be using. Confirm to go here. This closes the loop. So now... I can, okay, I think this is how this works. I'm going to go here, pick up this shared destination, and then, yes, because I hit the blue, I get the extra one for the loop, and I get the extra one for um, hitting the blue dot. So I am going to go, um, well, actually, I'm, um, oh, no, I have to complete. Oh, no, I don't have to. I can go, keep going here. Well, let's go this way. I don't want to complete that one. Yeah, I'll happily do that. And then we'll go like this to head down this way towards Timbuktu. I'm pretty happy with that play. Um, we picked up the Great Wall and the Bering Strait. Hey, and he goes down to Timbuktu for me. Gotta love it, man. You're a peach. Okay, he's going to go this way to use some tickets. So he gained the ticket. He used a ticket, and then he gained a ticket. And now he's going to use his second ticket. He's going to go that way. I'm... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down this way to grab the extra turn. Then I will go up this way to grab the destination. Then I will use a ticket to go over here, close the loop, gain that ticket back. I think that was just kind of an unnecessary... Um, I think that was a little unnecessary, but I don't care. I'm willing to give up the shared destination here, especially because I already have two. Um, I suppose I could use the ticket here to go up and get the shared destination and kind of force him, but I, 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 I just I don't love that plan. Um, we are going to want to at some point... Um, okay, yes, so he's revealing that. To, so he, he he's going for his destination. Um, the other thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get south here at some point. Um, but so far, I'm, I'm not really concerned at that. Um, hmm. I mean, the other option is to start the red route somewhere, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't love that plan. Um, I think we're just going to do a very boring turn. Well, I guess that leaves me... Hang on. I'm going to use a ticket. Then we're going to go here. These are the types of plays I've gotten better at seeing. So we're going to go do to do that. Then I go this way to confirm. Then I use my second ticket, go up here to close the loop and get the extra turn. So now I can go up to here to get that shared destination. And then what I can do is I think I'm going to prioritize getting another ticket rather than getting my, my revealed destination. Because we're already down here. I probably can continue to get this revealed destination. So he's just using a ticket. I'm assuming, yeah, he's going to remove this one. Probably because he wants to head up this way. I'm, I'm cool with that. Especially because um, he's already used that ticket. So... Now that I've gained that ticket, what I can do is I can go this way, grab Puerto Rico. I can use a ticket to close this loop and get another ticket. Now what I can do is I can go this way for another ticket that I'll use immediately to go down and grab this revealed destination. If he wants to head up this way and um, close a loop, more power to him. Okay, so he's going down to Machu Picchu to gain the... to gain the ticket. Um, what do I want to do here? Um, I mean, I could use one of my tickets to close another loop and then just get this shared destination. I I don't I don't think I really care about that. Um what do I care about? Um I think that I care about starting this route. Go this way and turn. <laughs> um cuz I do have to grab the Northwest Passage and you know Niagara Falls is up there too. I've already got four of the shared destinations, which is really really nice. Um okay, so he's going that way. He's going to use a ticket. I'm okay with him going down here. Um I guess he could be going um he could be going cross map to Australia, but even that I'm pretty okay with. Really? Okay. I See, this is confusing to me because I would love to do this to get the extra turn, then this to get the ticket, immediately use the ticket to then go here, and then use my second ticket to go up this way, which, if my math is correct, I complete that loop, and I get to do an extra turn. So that allows me to get this destination... And then I can close this loop, which is really great. And then I can, um, I can go down this way and start nabbing some of my Australia destinations down here. 
and I've still got a ticket left. I think though that's fantastic. So I think what my opponent is not doing as well at now, maybe my opponent is is you know has some other master plan in mind. Um, just doesn't seem to be doing a good job at recognizing when the optimal plays are there. All right, there's the Northwest Passage for us. You'll love to see it. I'm assuming they're going to use a ticket because you can go down and just grab another one. Now, the curious thing, does he use his second one to grab Niagara Falls? If he does not, see, yeah, like this is, um, this is awesome to me. Because what I can do is I can go down here. Confirm, grab this destination, and now, yes, I'm using my last ticket, but I can now go down this way, grab the extra turn, go down here, grab this one. Um, how many locations do I have left? I have three. One, two, and the Galapagos. Um, and then what we can do is I can um, end my turn. I, I think that's what I would like to do. I guess what I probably should have done there is continue this yellow route down here, but yeah, that was that was maybe a mistake. I should have continued the yellow route. I got focused on what he was doing, and I was all excited about it, and you know, okay, yeah, I I, I should just continue to do this. Um, confirm. Um, am I to the point where I use tickets? And I think the answer is yes, because I only have so many destinations left. So if I go here and confirm, and then I go here and confirm, now I'm one destination away. Um, and I think I can manage without tickets at this point, especially because um, I know where two of my opponent's locations are. And they're not in a place where there's really any routes right now. Um, now, he does have four tickets, which gives him a lot of ammunition um, in order to grab things. But um, right now, I just have a very, very massive lead. I've got five shared destinations, and I'm six up on other destinations. So um, now he has four tickets right now, which, you know, albeit is quite a lot. Um, the, the bad news for him on the yellow route is there's only five arrows left. And once we run out of arrows, we're out of arrows. So, um, I really just need to kind of be looking at, can I close a loop somehow in yellow to kind of go this way? Red also would be one that I would look at. Can I close a loop on, um, you know, I'm just going to kind of go here again with no tickets. My turns kind of become a little bit more boring, um, but it is what it is. Um, that just is going to kind of be, yeah. So like, I'm cool with him using all these yellow things because, um, yeah. Um, where, where can blue go? What can I do with blue? I'm just going to go here. I realize that gives him a loop to complete, but my hope is that he's so focused on doing stuff with yellow that, okay, well, never mind. <laughs> so my hope is that his focus was on yellow, but uh, never mind. It's fine. Um, I guess, yeah, he can now use that. Um, that's okay. That was probably a mistake. Hey, I'm kind of, am I throwing this game? I don't think so. I think I'm still in good shape. Um, okay, so... So now I'm going to go here and confirm. And again, have him make the choice of does he want to get his revealed destination or complete that loop. Um, he wants to complete the loop, um, which is okay. Um, yeah, I really need to figure out a way to get to the Galapagos. And yellow is the easiest way to do that, but right now there's just not a great way to... There's not a great way to get to yellow or to loop yellow with enough stuff. Yeah, I may be... This This may be a very, very tricky... Uh, hmm. Hmm. So, um, I think we are going to try to divert... Um... 
yellow this way. See if we can... The other thing here is, okay, if my opponent... I have all four of my revealed destinations, with which that's super important because those, those are a double whammy on points. Whereas... Um, so, um, no, and I'm going to go back this way. Um, so even if my opponent goes out, I think I still win because I have five purple destinations. So I I'm, this, this is not as upsetting to me because of how many shared destinations I have gotten. So this is something also to watch out in this game where the power of shared destinations can really, really help you. Um, so, and the other nice thing here is now this means I can try to divert this this way. Uh, my hope is that he still has something down south that he needs to try to get. Um, well, it looks like the answer is no. <laughs> um, but, um, I think his issue is, and I, he may not realize it, that, okay, and because I only have one destination left... It's um, it's really, really going to be difficult for him to do much. Um, I think we'll just do like this. Yeah, I, I still think while um, I'm in, I'm in a little bit. It seems like I'm in really bad shape. I actually think because of how many of the purple shared destinations I've gotten, I'm, I'm in okay shape. But one one lesson here is you're seeing the power of tickets and how you can very much control, if your opponent does not have any tickets, you can control the narrative on the game. Um, and you're kind of, so he's very much dictating the pace of this game and dictating where things want to go because he can use tickets and strategic points. Basically, I'm just kind of hoping that something at some point, you know, manifests itself where I can, I can do this thing. Um, using a ticket. Okay, he's completing the loop. Now, there's the yellow routes are almost done. It would be absolutely hilarious if he hit the Galapagos Islands right now. I'd be very, very hilarious. That would be very, very hilarious. Okay. That's fine. He's going to use a ticket. Where's he going to go with that ticket? Okay, he's not going to use the ticket. He's deciding against using the ticket. I like that it gives you the ability to cancel. That's very, very nice. Okay, so this is where that's where the yellow route ends because um, that's all the places that it can go. So I'm just gonna go throw this blue route up this way. Um, so I mean that can be the other way this game ends is just um, so he's removing that so he keeps the loop. Oh, that's a very nice play. Very nice play by my opponent. So he uses his ticket to remove this. Then it goes back to the last play, which was this loop. So now he gets to play it again. And uh, so then he does it again. Oh, man. Wow. That, that was a very, very slick play by my opponent. Now, here's the great news is it's not really going to matter. Um, because... Um, it's not really going to matter because I, I still think I have him on points. I could be wrong, but I, I still think because of how many shared destinations I have, I have him on points. I lose one point for not hitting the destination for not hitting one of my destinations, but because I have five versus one, that's really something that I can. Now he's trying to pick up as many points as possible, but here's the dirty little secret: is I can. Interestingly enough, I believe I can get I can get my last destination here because of that. So I can go here, then I can go here, then I can immediately use that ticket to go there and pick up my last destination. <laughs> so uh, it didn't didn't end up mattering anyway. Look at that! Um, wow. Okay. 
Okay, yes, fantastic. I would like to answer this opponent. <laughs> um, uh, I'm just going to tell him it was uh, a little unlucky that the last spot for me. Um, so yeah, that was, um, a, a really, really close game. Um, I was really dominating my opponent in the first half, but, uh, um, did not have as big of a hold on the game. You know, I, I I've said this in my past videos and I'm going to say it again, like that, the, the tickets are the big thing. Like it really is. You got to make sure if you're going to use that last ticket, that it really is advantageous. And so I thought down here in Australia, okay, I'll just use this last ticket. It's going to be fine. I just have one more destination to get, you know, late in this game, someone will loop a yellow and accidentally go this way, or I'll be lucky and be able to get that. It'll be great. Um, but it ended up kind of almost costing me. And then my opponent had a, the, the slick play of like looping this and then being able to go, um, uh, back and forth, like just off of these yellow routes was a really, really cool play. So, um, thanks so much for watching everyone. If you're um, new with us or old with us, um, and you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, I've got a goal of, uh, 50 subscribers by the end of July. We're in the upper thirties at this point. You guys have been coming through for me and I appreciate it. Um, and we will see you all next time.